2022 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost oil change. So, first step of this process, get your truck up. These are ramps from Amazon. They were $60. They hold up to 12,000 pounds. First step of the process, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket. I like to put it on an extension and I put it on my ratchet so I can just reach over. Until it drops. So, once you get all four of those, you get access to your oil pan. I asked them, does it come with a free oil change? And they said no. But then I got an email almost too late because you only have a year to collect this. And with my four pass points, I got $210 worth of free credit. So I was able to go and get enough oil and filters to do four oil changes for free and you also get 10 percent off so for 218 dollars the coupon was for 210 so it cost me eight dollars i got two cases of oil four filters the filters are fl 500s and the oil is 5w30 synthetic blend should take six quarts i now have the oil pan right there kind of hard to see around and it's a 15 millimeter can. So, I made a huge mess because when I took the bolt out, the oil came shooting out and all over the ground. No big deal. So from the ground, that's where the oil filter is on the 3.5 2022 EcoBoost. Um, on my 2.7 EcoBoost, there was a cap on top and it had a paper cartridge filter. This one has this pain in the butt spot. I'm gonna end up getting it with an extension and probably this um, tool I have that latches on. I have every tool, so we'll find out which one works best. So these are some different styles of oil wrenches. Just wanna show you that I have them all for the oil filter and. We'll find out which one works best. This one, you know, it spins. It's good, but these crush the cans sometimes, the canisters, not that it matters. Um, and also, you really don't want to put these back on. Got the filter out. Ended up using the extension. I'll show it later. Dented the can. Terrible spot, leaks on the frame. Not the easiest oil change. At least the can was tipped up so the oil stayed up so two things you always want to look for this rubber gasket make sure it's not sticking to the engine block and then you want to take a little old oil or new oil put it around that rubber gasket it makes for a better seal project this product and up to the more fluid film powerful rust and corrosion protection it's got lanolin in it and it doesn't wash off for a while for a long time keeps the rust down um, basically like undercoating just you get the value size can at walmart because it's pretty expensive and anywhere i see rust i just spray it and it kind of reacts to the rust and bubbles and fizzes Spray it on threads of things that you might have to undo in the future. Spray it on rust near the boots, CV axles, lower ball joint. That way if you ever have to replace that stuff in the future, you don't want to spray anything that'll get hot because then it'll smoke. It's not the end of the world, but it'll, it'll smoke. All right, now we're gonna add the oil. Oil cap right down and there on the side of the motor your sub funnel it's supposed to be six quarts put six in get it off the lift see how it looks all right we're gonna get our thing back on we got our eight millimeter 
um, the best way I've discovered is the wider part of this in the back I just hold this up here and then I got the electric wrench and I just zip it in there and then do the other one and then do the front And this is how you do the air filter. All the salt on the roads. Flip those two clips. And watch out for those wires over there. We're gonna lift up on it a little bit. And it just slides forward away from everything. And then you can simply just pick it up and vacuum it. You can blow it out with an air compressor or you can get a new one. Put it back on, you shut it down in there slide it get it lined up it slides back in there get your things clipped up right there easy maintenance